What's up, y'all? Been away a minute. Snapping ball one with a review of PWG 1.21 gigawatts. But first, I'd like to say um, I saw the draft. It was all right. <laughs> Man, you know, it was unexpected. A lot of unexpected stuff happened, but a lot of stuff didn't make sense. But I'll talk about that a little later. All right. Um. Anyway, to this show, this was rather good. I thought this was uh when it comes to storyline progression. I mean, it gets no better than this, in my opinion, because of the ending, which I'll get to in a second, was just mark out stuff. Um, but anyway, the show started with Brandon Bonham versus Nemesis. Um, this was good. Not, you know, not great or nothing like that. Brandon Bonham is very impressive. Nemesis is not that bad of a wrestler. Um, Brandon Bonham has some real innovative moves, yo. I, yeah, he's just, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen him before this, but yeah, he was he was damn good. Two and a half stars for that one. Right, uh, then next we had Candice Ray versus Lefisto in a decent women's match. Not nothing special. I mean, not the biggest Lefisto fan. Candice LeRae can take bumps. Lefisto was kind of sloppy a little bit, but um, you know, but I, I fuck it. That's just me. I know everybody's like, oh, but she's thick. But anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, uh, decent women's match. You know two stars at most, enough to hold your attention, you know what I mean? And then after that, <clears throat> we had a uh, double C, Clive Castanoli versus Chris Hero. Um, this was very good action between these two. Y'all already know what's up. Uh, this Chris Hero being Chris Hero, Claudio just being this heel type character that I think he does decently, but it's still weird seeing him as a heel by himself like that. But um, usually when he was a heel back in the day, he had like Chris Hero by his side or something like that. It's just kind of weird now. Um, yeah, but this was a very good match, y'all. Um, I, I, the ending, the ending, the roll up, and I didn't even mind, in all honesty. Um, it's a good match. Uh, three and a quarter stars, y'all. Really, really good match. Then we had, a uh, Human Tornado come out during this match. <laughs> and, you know, jump on, uh, jump on Chris Hero. Claudio jumped on Chris Hero. And then Candice Ray was out there. And Lefisto was out there. So Excalibur makes... Energy in a street fight as the main event of the show. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, all in all, that was a good segment, y'all. Uh, good match, three and quarter star. The next we had a pro wrestling gorilla world tag team title match between the Dynasty. And if y'all know who the Dynasty is, that's Chris Bosch. Uh, I mean Chris Bosch. <laughs> well, he was part of the Dynasty. Um, to, yeah, well, he's coming back. But anyway, uh, Scott Lawson, and Joey Ryan versus Kevin Steen and El Gineco. This was a very fun, entertaining match. Just craziness near the end, like around the last five minutes, just craziness. And then we got a surprise run in and a nice spot, <laughs> which I just marked out for. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but the, the run in was nice. Let's just put it like that. Um, Some totally unexpected. I, I, I didn't even, like, honestly, like, I knew the result of the match, but I, I forgot all about the run in, and I marked out so hard when it happened. Y'all see what it is. Nice, more nice, nice moment. All right, um, yeah, but all in all, that's a very good match, y'all. Three and three quarter stars. A lot of people might think I'm overrating it, but it was just so fun and a lot of action. All right, then next we had a DDT4 uh, qualifier elimination match. We had uh, Hook Bomberry and TJ Perkins versus uh, Los Luchas, the Young Bucks, and Ronan and Scorpio Scott. It was all like, it was all like. A lot of nice stuff in this. Uh, basically a spot fist. I ain't even gonna front on y'all, but this match was very fun. Uh, yeah, you would not be disappointed with this. And the spot that ends it is incredible. Um, and But the only problem I had with this match is that you kind of saw who the last two teams were gonna be. Like, it was, surpri it was a surprise to no one, you know what I mean? Like, when it was the last two teams, you know what I'm saying? And another problem I had with this night the crowd was off and on the entire night. Like during this match, they were live, but during the let's say the tag title match, they were pretty much dead into one part, the run in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which was weird if you ask me. But yeah, um, yeah. But that's that's a complaint I have with a lot of PWG shows. But anyway, that was a good match. Three stars. Nice little fun spot fest. That's all it was. Um, Oh yeah, and uh, the, the Young Bucks just come up with some of the most innovative moves. Just had to throw that in there. All right, um, 
Next is the main event of the evening, Human Tornado Lefisto versus Candice LeRae and Chris Arrow. As a match, this was good, not nothing great. I've seen better uh, street fights. You know, I liked the little ending, how they kept teasing that uh, TND, or that nigga dead, as y'all might know it, on the uh, chair. And uh, Chris Arrow kept reversing it or whatnot. Um, I like how, you know, I even liked the little lad, the finishing move to finish the match. But the highlight of this entire show, which makes this show for a PWG fan must see is what happened after the match. You know what I'm saying? After the match, Club Castanola comes out there with a roll of duct tape, ties Chris Hero to the ropes. Well, during the match, Human Tornado pretty much battered and bloody Candice LeRae, so she was already weak, okay? Then after the match, Castanola comes out, duct tapes Chris Hero's hands, hands to, the, uh, to the ropes, and Lefisto and Human Tornado commenced to beating the tar out of Candice LeRae. Pretty much they put her through a table, or well, Lefisto puts her through a table. Tornado hits her with the, that nigga dead. Just batters her and bloodies her, and the whole time you see Chris Earl struggling to get out. It was just so cool. Like he was struggling to get free from the ropes, and he was cussing, just, motherfucker, let me go, you son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it made you feel like Chris Hero actually hated this guy, you know what I mean? Cool, cool stuff in this match. Just great, great stuff. In all honesty, um, the match I only give about three stars, but the segment afterwards I give about four and a quarter. It's just real cool. It words cannot describe just like the raw emotion. It look like it looked like actual emotion. Like I, I love that about like the independence. In all honesty, a lot of the storylines in the independence seem more you know believable than the storylines in like mainstream because a lot of the guys on the independence are better actors than a lot of the mainstream guys. This is what I think. Um, and then afterwards, we got a hell of a promo from Chris Hero. Just, um, not, not the, just a great promo. Probably one of his best. But, um, in all honesty, this show is not, I don't recommend it too highly, but I recommend it. I give this out, in all honesty, probably a seven and a half, seven point seven five, somewhere along in there. Check it out if you can, if you can't, oh well, but, uh, yeah, this is Nightmare Baller 1 signing off. I have a video giving my thoughts on the draft probably sometime this week, maybe tomorrow. I know I said I was going to kick out videos more frequently, but things came up again. And man, now I'm going to have a whole lot of time on my hands because a lot of personal things have happened to me, but I, I get into that later. But anyway, I'll let y'all later.